What's up? I'm Alex the Entrepreneur. What an insane year. 2020 has been disruptive to say the least. And if you're in tech, this year has also been a great opportunity. As more people are working from home, there is an ever-growing need to make technology accessible and as widespread as possible. This is the kind of story of Strapi this year. This year, Strapi launched their stable release. With the introduction of role-based access control, RBAC for short, what was born as a developer tool is now a fairly accessible, extensible, and developer-friendly CMS that anyone can use. This means you can bootstrap a project, then you can end it off to the marketing team and send it to customer support. Strap has also introduced a revamped media library with built-in image optimization, a draft and publish system, and a functional plugin system, which allows courageous developer to further customize to their liking. Strap is really beginning to shape up to compete with the big boy, WordPress. While Strapi will never be able to replace WordPress because markets are fragmented, Strapi can still aim to onboard new JavaScript developers, becoming the de facto JavaScript CMS, something that Ghost, Sanity, and Netlify CMS are all trying to do. In this video, I want to talk about what is next for Strapi, as far as I know, and what you can do with it now. I'll also talk about my wishes for it and the new opportunities that are coming up for those who dare to take them. Today, Strapi is a flexible, headless CMS that allows skilled front-end developers to build websites very rapidly while not compromising on security. The admin panel allows multiple roles, up to free in the free version, which allow granular security settings, making it easier to share what used to be a very dangerous tool to a bigger number of colleagues. What Strapi is missing is an easier way to customize the admin panel. This is in part due to a lack of documentation and tutorials. The other part is due to the missing piece that will turn Strapi into an actual business opportunity for developers, the revamped plugin API. The plugin API is a rewrite of the way plugins are handled in Strapi. As one of the few in-depth coaches on Strapi, the complete Strapi course, my course, being a 26 hours course also covering plugin development, I can say that the plugin API needs an extra improvement. It needs to allow the creation of custom types and their fields. Once that will be part of Strapi, developers will be able to build and monetize plugins that can help content writers, marketers, and entrepreneurs in getting the best out of Strapi. As of now, the plugin API v4 seems to be due in early 2021, and I truly believe that it will create a new business opportunity. Beside this, let's look at uh, Strapi's product board, and a couple of features seems to be planned. Content internationalization, allowing the creation of collection types in multiple languages, and the usage of API tokens as a way to fetch data. I don't really believe these features will be transformative as much as the plugin API, but they will open up Strapi to the enterprise as well as educational entities such as school. Internationalization is something that can already be achieved in multiple ways, such as by using one collection type per language, while the API tokens for access is a nice to have. The reason why I'm sold on the plugins API is that I saw what happened to WordPress. It turned what was basically a blog tool into a powerhouse used for almost anything, from e-commerce to landing pages, paid products, communities, forums, startup, and forums. WordPress was such a convenient and effective tool, I even saw Ethereum projects using it as a platform of their choice. So let's talk about what you can build with Strapi today. Today, you can use Strapi for e-commerce, and you can see my tutorials, or even for blogging, and even to build your own tech company. It can power most sites, and it's really effective when used with single-page application frameworks, such as React, especially when using Gatsby or Next.js. These SPA frameworks are so much easier to use and to build products with, and they work very well when complemented with Strapi. Personally, I had many challenges in figuring out a safe way to handle authentication with Strapi, and I ultimately decided to use a third-party provider, such as Magic, which sponsored my previous e-commerce video. Thanks to Strapi, I was able to build so many projects this year. Every company I used Strapi with was able to crush their goals and deliver a product that people used. I think it's an incredible tool, and I'm very happy to be able to teach it. That said, let's talk about some criticism for Strapi. I've heard plenty of criticism on Strapi's monetization tactic of limiting user roles. In my experience, the free roles are enough for most use cases, so I never needed to buy the paid version. However, I decided to try their payment flow as a way to test it out, and I thought that the checkout experience wasn't that great. Being asked to pay $400 upfront for a file download doesn't sound that appealing. Also, them not offering a managed version seems like a wasted opportunity. I'm lo although I'm learning that most SaaS make money from their top clients, and they don't really can't, they can't really care about small business. 
Would you be interested in a $30 per month hosting for Strapi with included database and file upload? Is that something that you will be interested? Let me know in the comments, maybe I can figure out something for you. Another issue is the serious lack of documentation. Most documentation for Strapi is incomplete, old, absent, or worse, it's not correct. It's factually wrong. Strapi is also still introducing breaking changes regularly, and uh, you simply can't call it a stable release if you're breaking your previous code. All in all, I think Strapi hasn't found its identity. Is it a Strapi, is it a tool for developers? Is it a backend tool? Is it a frontend tool? Is it a CMS? Strapi's identity is so fragmented that you can use different databases that will behave differently. I wouldn't be surprised if the choice of supporting multiple databases is making its development more complicated than it needs to be. I bet they will eventually drop all but one database and it will definitely make deployment a lot easier. At the same time, Strapi can't become too bloated Adding too many features will make it lose its core value. That's why plugins will make all the difference. Plugins are opt-in tools that can customize each user's experience, extending Strapi while allowing the core team to build a solid foundation for years to come. I think it's really early to tell whether Strapi will become mainstream or not, and but I do believe that most front-end developers will eventually get acquainted with it just to the sheer competitive advantage that it gives. Imagine having to spend a month encoding authentication when you can get it done in 15 minutes. All in all, Strapi has been a bet for many of the people that use it in production. I think it has been a bet that paid off big time with some of my clients launching businesses in the time their competitor coded a landing page, and there's still room for improvement. As with any gambles, you have to take some risk. Database migrations, breaking changes, new features being added all the time, moving the menus for no apparent reason, this is the price to pay for being early. As for me, I'm looking into 2021 with the goal of tripling down in content production and also have plans to code Strapi plugins, so expect news as I code new functionality to make your life easier. I'm also about to release a new website listing the profiles and portfolios of vetted Strapi developers, where recruiters will be able to find the top Strapi developers with profiles and contact information. If you want to be listed and get a complimentary portfolio review, click the link in the description. The first 20 people to send me their profiles will receive a complimentary LinkedIn and GitHub review. There is no cost in applying, but I'll be vetting each profile individually. So if you're in the first 20, you'll get advice on how to improve your profile. Thank you for being part of this crazy journey. Have an amazing rest of your year and have an amazing day.